For today's message, we have actually brought you into our sanctuary. And if you take a look at our sanctuary, you will find uh, an older style sanctuary from the 1970s. This is where we have our traditional service, and this is our traditional communion table. It's amazing to me because on this communion table, you will see the words, this do in remembrance of me, and below it is the cross. Now in the picture of the Last Supper that we looked at this week, we saw the picture of Jesus sitting at the communion table, or at the Last Supper table as we know it. The Last Supper, by the way, is something that we have added. That we have added that title. That is not something that is actually a part of the scripture. But on our communion table, we normally place the communion on the table, and then we take the communion from the table and then pass it out. We as a church, we then pass the bread out and pass the juice out, and it gives us a time in the busyness of life to just slow down for a second, to just pause for a second, to just rest for a second and recognize where we are with the Lord. It is at that remembrance time that we then read these words from Luke chapter 22, starting in verse 19, when it says, and Jesus took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to them saying, this is my body given for you, do this in remembrance of me. It is that time that we take the bread. And then as a church family, once again, we take the juice and we say, in the same way, after the supper, Jesus took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. This is what communion then means to us as a church family. And this is how we take communion together. There's a time of prayer. There's a time of remembrance. There's a time of reflection. And it comes back to a time of sacrifice, a loving sacrifice that was made for you and for me. We'll see you tomorrow.